Okay, a true side scroller. First off, I've moved my camera at zero. Okay, zero. I zeroed it out. And I added these attributes to it. So a little bit of width, height, and everything else. Depth, negative one. I also made this little square. Those are the only things that I changed in the scene when, when you weren't looking. Okay, so if I got a, con a first person controller and I got a camera, the reason I moved it to zero is because the script is going to handle where the camera is going to go. So that is here, camera focus. So on the camera, I'm going to drag this out. Okay. And it wants a target. And that's why I made two boxes, a box, and I have the first person controller. So the first person controller, what I'm going to do is go back to the camera and take the first person controller and click it down here under the target as soon as I add one. So I'm going to add two targets and two buttons. Button one is going to be player. And button two is going to be box. Okay, so this one, first person player, gets into one. And then box, which is this box right here, goes into the other one. Now, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to freak out. It's going to do this. It's not going to work. Um, one more thing that needs to happen is my first person controller needs to have the camera target script on him. Okay. And the box does not. The last thing, which is really hard to find, but under level attributes, it has all these bounds. Well, I didn't know what these were at first, but really this states the bounds of your level. Okay, duh. And I wasn't seeing any results when I tweaked these out is because it's inside the actual box. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is make this height, make it wide, and then center it within my world. Okay, so what happens here if I hit play, I have this, player, box. And I have an argument out of range, so let's find out what that is. All right, let's back out. And let's, it looks like this is not good enough, so I'm gonna have to do my level attributes and move this. And get it almost perfect. It's a real hard concept to get if you don't know what view to do it in. There we go. Okay, so there, there. So it's basically my, like making a television screen. And the television screen has to be centered in the world. So this is what I can see. So play. There's, I got my player and then my box. So if I want to travel over to the box, I can, and I can jump up on the box. Well, that is all that it really takes to have a good uh, side scroller. The argument out of range here, that's kind of worrying me. So what is that? Let's say I shouldn't have my fallout buffer at one. I should have a fallout at one probably. Okay, another thing, let's see if I fall off the world, what happens? Bam, already back there. Good. OK, 
Okay, so let's see what is making the argument change that's on here. So it's actually a negative number that's appearing somewhere. And let's check my camera. I got two, two, yep, first person controller. I have this. I should probably make this a little higher. And max look ahead is just how far can the player see ahead. And now, you see how I can only see the bottom of the screen? It's because I did the height offset at 5. So if you want to see what these do real time, you can go like this, and it will not set those attributes. That's what's really nice about it. It'll only add to the attribute, and then as soon as you off-click on it, it basically resets it back to normal. So now that you can try it out, if you liked that, you can lower it down, and then you can hit play again, and voila, there it is. All right. Well, I don't see anything that's argumentatively out of range here. So I'm going to poke around a little bit and add that to the video if I if I find it's harmful. If it's not harmful, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Good. Well, that is effectively your side scroller. Enjoy and on to the next video. Again, if it's if it's anything exceptionally out of range. I'll add it to this video. If not, um, don't worry about it.